Hi, it's Alexis with Engadget, and this is the Space Shuttle Atlantis. After leaving the Vehicle Assembly Building, or VAB for short, at roughly 7 a.m., Atlantis arrived in an open field five hours later, offering visitors a chance to get up close and personal. What you're seeing below here is the Orbiter Transport System, or OTS for short. The yellow Titan comes loaded with 76 wheels and 10 axles, measures up at 107 feet in length, 20 feet in width, and weighs in at 167,000 pounds when unloaded. With Atlantis atop it, the OTS tips the scales at approximately 320,996 pounds. Once the orbiter's three-hour respite was over, it went on the move for the very last time. Over 30 astronauts, including Buzz Aldrin and Gene Cernan, led the way as it came into the home stretch. Getting the orbiter on these roads required a fair amount of legwork. 120 light poles, 23 traffic signals, 56 traffic signs, and one high voltage line were removed to make way for the craft. As for speed, the OTS drives at a blistering 2 miles per hour when saddled with the shuttle. By roughly 6 p.m., Atlantis reached the outside of its permanent home, a $100 million, 90,000 square foot exhibit complex slated to open in the summer of 2013. After a celebratory fireworks display welcoming the orbiter to its new abode, we were ushered out and Atlantis made the short trip inside, marking the final few feet of the American Space Shuttle program.